Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how I did the health bars special effects in my fight videos. I had this request multiple times, and it's about time I finally cover it. So I'm going to try and make this tutorial generic to work for multiple movie editing programs. But specifically, I will be using Final Cut Express. So feel free to follow along if you have Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro. If you do not have either of those programs, this tutorial should still give you a good outline of how to set it up in your preferred movie editing program. Now to do this effect, you need some information about your video. For example, how many times was each of your subjects hit? You need to keep track of it. For large hits, you want to get rid of more health than for smaller hits. That's the tradition in most video games. A player is knocked out when all the health reaches zero as well. The next thing you'll need are three solid objects. Now each object has a purpose. The bottom layer is going to be an empty health bar. The middle layer is going to be how much damage your subject was taken. And your top layer is going to be a full health bar. So as a subject gets hit, the top layer will be cropped, exposing the middle layer. If the subject is hit again, you crop more of the top layer. Once you are done taking damage, you're going to animate the middle layer to decrease. And make sure you try and have it decrease at a constant rate. If you have it decrease fast for the first one, and then decrease slowly for the second one, it starts to be a little less convincing. Of course, once all of it is gone, you have just the bottom layer. So the three objects I use were a gray rectangle, a red rectangle, and a blue rectangle. If you don't want to make your own, don't worry, I have provided these for you, along with a whole bunch of other fighting special effects text that can pop up during a fighting video game, such as hit combos and things like that. So go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash secondloser, and go to the side here where it says free movie assets. That'll redirect you to a link, and here we'll have a whole bunch of fighting special effects for you. Down here are the hit combos, you have critical hit. Somewhere near the middle of the page are going to be the health bars, red, gray, and blue. Open them in new tabs in options and click download. You don't need to make an account. You don't need a sign in. Feel free to use them all you want. I would really appreciate a link to my channel if you use my stuff, but of course I don't require it. The third and last thing you're going to need is a movie editing program that allows for keyframes. If you don't have that, then you can't have your health bars be animated. Oh, and make sure your movie editing program does allow for cropping. If you plan on doing this in iMovie or a more basic editing program like Windows Movie Maker, it most likely won't work. So let's get started on how I did this in my preferred editing program, Final Cut Express. If you have Final Cut Pro, it also works in there. And if you have Adobe After Effects, I'll try and word it so you can still follow along. What I did was I grabbed my blue health bar, which is going to be the bottom layer, and put it on the bottom layer. I then grabbed the red health bar and put that one layer above the other one. Then I took the gray health bar and put that on top of the other two. What I did next was highlight all of them and move them to the correct height and location on my screen. Health bars in video games tend to be in the top left and the top right. Now I'm just going to leave it in the top middle for now, but make sure you have them all aligned. If your program has the ability to place coordinates for locations, I highly recommend you line all of these up. As you can see, I told the pieces to be at negative 262. So if I add another health bar on the other side of the screen, I make sure it's at the height negative 262. Symmetry helps really make the details pop in your video. Now the next step is going to be adding the keyframes. The only layer that needs the keyframes is the middle layer, the health damage. So double click on it and in Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro the keyframe symbol looks like a little diamond. Just hold your mouse over it and it should give you a little tooltip. So click it once 
and you'll see that the box turned green. That means that frame has a keyframe. This next frame doesn't have a keyframe because the X's are not green. I scroll through each frame using the arrow keys on my keyboard. If you are using keyframes in Adobe After Effects, the keyframe symbol looks like a little stopwatch. Let's say I took a hit at about two seconds into the video. So I'm going to go two seconds into the fight video on my timeline. And I'm going to go through the specifics in Final Cut Express here. I press B to bring up the blades tool and I'm going to hit my mouse button to cut it. Then I'm going to press A to bring up my select tool and I am going to double click on the second chunk. I'm then going to press C on the keyboard to bring up crop and I'm going to just crop the edge off. Now press A on the keyboard and double click on the middle layer which is your health and add a keyframe. In Adobe After Effects, you kind of want to do the same thing. You just tell your object to be cropped. Now to make sure the audience noticed that the health bar took damage, I'm not going to begin my keyframe cropping animation right away. I'm going to add a keyframe right where the damage was taken, go forward one second, add in another keyframe. Next, you might have to do some math, but you got to make sure that your health is decreasing at a consistent rate throughout your video. So if your health bar took a large amount of damage, you don't want the red line to decrease at a faster rate than if the health bar took a small amount of damage. So try and keep the flow of the video going consistent. As for me, for this situation, it'll be about 20 units every second. So I'm going to go forward one more second and add in that keyframe. So let's summarize this. I have a keyframe in the beginning, a keyframe right where the gray took the damage, a keyframe right where I want the animation to begin, and a keyframe right where the animation is going to end. Now we need to know how much was cropped. So I'm going to double click on my cropped top layer and I'm going to expose this little crop symbol here. As you can see, it was cropped 20.28 from the right. So I'm going to double click on that, hit copy. So on this last keyframe, double click on it, go to motion, go to crop. And since it was cropped from the right, I'm going to click on there and paste in the 20.28. Then I'm going to click away. Now let's watch this in slow motion. So there is the full health bar. There is the damage. And then we let it sit there for about a second on the screen. Then it starts to animate away. Now you're going to do this for each hit. You're going to crop the top layer right away. You're going to let the middle layer wait a second. Then you're going to make the middle layer keyframe away slowly. You're going to leave the bottom layer alone the whole time. You basically do this for every hit in your video. I hope that helps you out in After Effects. I unfortunately don't like doing After Effects tutorials because my computer does not run it very well. It's not a very powerful computer. I'm considering starting up a tutorial series where I talk about how my friends and I do action videos with guns or action videos with open hand-to-hand -hand combat. I could talk about sound effects we use, choreography tips and tricks, some video editing tips and tricks. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. Leave a comment below. If you have a question, also write those in the comments. I'll modify the description of this video to help you out. So good luck with your video editing and have fun making movies. I look forward to seeing your feedback.